you're just joining us on our Facebook page, it's awesome to have you here. Welcome to Tuesday Tips Live. If you're joining us on Global DJ Network, our Facebook group, even better, it's the place to be to network with DJs, which of course you already know, but if you're not in the Global DJ Network, go find it. Global DJ Network, search for it on Facebook. We'd love to have you there. And if you're watching on YouTube, how awesome is that? The YouTube live streams are getting bigger and bigger week after week. It's good to have you there over on YouTube as well. So welcome people, it's Tuesday Tips Live from Digital DJ Tips. So what's it all about? Well, we are the biggest online DJ school in the world. This is our book, Rock the Dance Floor. You can get this in all good bookstores, on Amazon, on Kindle, on iTunes, uh, you know, the iTunes book place, all that kind of thing. Uh, and what we do is help you become better DJs and better DJ producers. You can get the book, you can get the book for free when you join Digital DJ Tips, by the way. Just head over to digitaldjtips.com, our website, and sign up, we'll give you the book for free as a, as a download. We have digitaldjtips.com where we do reviews and uh, where we cover uh, lots and lots of free tutorials and DJ news and all that kind of thing. We also have this channel that you're watching on now, whether it's YouTube, Facebook page, Facebook group, whatever, where there's an awful lot of free stuff that you can watch too. But then of course we're a DJ school, so we have lots and lots of DJ courses that can help you become a better DJ. So that's us, that's what we do. Today, it's all about the three types of mobile DJ. Which one are you and which one should you be? Now, before we go any further, uh, I just wanna say hello to some people who are popping in. You can probably hear the pop is coming into my, uh, to my uh, comment cam, as we like to call it, over here. So let's go say hello to a few people and in just a couple of minutes, we're gonna start off with those three types of mobile DJ. Oh, and by the way, one thing, if you're watching on YouTube thinking, get to the point, dude, you're watching the recording of a live show. And that's why it takes a while, because it, guess what, it's live, and we want you to be joining in live. So do hit subscribe, do hit notify, wherever you are, so that you can watch these live. The recordings are just not as much fun. Right, okay, let's get over to what's going on on the live cam. Welcome, live cam people. I've just realized that you couldn't uh, possibly see me at all there then. I think you just heard lots and lots of silence, but uh, maybe we were live. Uh, the Invisible Man, you're all saying, yes, sorry about that, people. Right, I'm here now. That live camera over there was simply a, uh, a phantom. Anyway, I'm here now. I can even hear my phone going off. People saying, Phil, we can't see you, but that's part of the fun, eh? That's why you should be watching us live. Uh, all right then. Uh, so to everyone saying we can't see you, uh, <laughs> uh, lots and lots of you, sorry about that. Uh, all right then. Uh, anyway, we're here now on the comment cam. So basically you're all saying, hey, I can't see you, uh, which is uh, fair enough. You couldn't. Anyway, you can now. So. Uh, we're talking about the three ways that uh, you could get into mobile DJ and the three types of mobile DJ there are and which one is the best today. Uh, so just uh, before we get going, I will get a few of those comments on. Beer Matt says, afternoon all, afternoon Phil and the team. Uh, where are you? Says Ricky and about a million other people. I'm here now, Ricky, sorry about that. No idea why the camera wasn't. Well, I have got an idea, it's because I didn't press the right button. But hey, these things happen. Right, okay, let's get started. Uh, without further ado, we will now switch back to the correct camera. There it is, and here I am. Uh, all right then, so we're talking about the three types of mobile DJ and which one you might be. So uh, if you're into mobile DJing or you want to be, this is gonna be the one for you today. So there are three types, and we know this because we talk to DJs every, uh, every day inside our mobile DJ uh, courses, and also, of course, we conduct annual surveys of DJs, so we've got all this information, and so we're sharing you stuff right from uh, right from literally from from you. I'm just bouncing it back at you. So there's three types of mobile DJ. The first one is the one we call the side hustle DJ. Now a side hustle DJ, they tend to earn about ten thousand dollars, ten thousand pounds, euros, around that kind of amount, upwards from there to maybe double, treble that amount if they're working very hard. So these people are making a bit of money from their DJing every year, uh, but it's a side hustle. They're doing it for fun. They're doing it because they love DJing and they're doing it because they want to spend money on DJ gear, right? And what better way to spend money on DJ gear than to earn that money from your DJing? It smooths the way with the family and friends. It allows you to hold your head high and say, I'm a DJ, this is what I do. Here's my gear, here's my stuff, this is me. Uh, it's just an awesome thing to do, to have a side hustle business as a DJ. A lot of these people are also DJing in clubs and residences and 
also producing. It's part of what they do in their DJing, but also they've got full-time jobs. They've probably got families. They've got other commitments as well. So it's a great side hustle. They've worked out how to make money from their DJing by doing mobile gigs, by doing events, by doing children's parties, the odd wedding maybe, that kind of thing. Side hustle DJs tend to be very good at using digital tools. So they might use They'll definitely be members of digital download pools to get their music. They'll be using really good online website building stuff to build their websites and online email gathering to get a, an audience. They'll probably be quite good at using one of Instagram, Facebook, YouTube to build their audience and to build their publicity around what they do. Online uh, is really important for side hustle DJs because they haven't got the time to do it the old way and the old way used to cost money. Think about it. DJs back in the past, 10, 15 years ago, well, they didn't have all the things that DJs have now, the tools to help. They had to put an advert in the newspaper or the yellow pages. Anyone remember the yellow pages? They had to um, invest in extremely expensive DJ gear that often broke down, you know, those old hot lights. You used to, you used to have to leave those lights to cool down for about half an hour at the end of a gig. And then they'd always, one or two of them would blow when you got them back into the car and all that stuff. You know, today's modern lighting is amazing. Today's modern equipment's amazing, right? We all know that. The, uh, the stuff you can do with modern equipment's cool. So, Side hustle DJs could only really exist and make decent money in the last few years because of all the advances of, of digital. So side hustle is really the one you want to be. And that's about 25% of mobile DJs. One in four of mobile DJs are what we call successful side hustle DJs, making decent money using all the tools and features and equipment and lighting and sound and digital tools to make their DJing compact and fun and sounding and looking great and a lot of fun for themselves. But it's not full time for them. They're not trying to do it full time. They're not pretending that they are. Uh, that's another type, which we're gonna get onto in a minute. So if the first type of DJ is side hustle, what's the second? Well, we'll get to that one in a second because I wanna get your comments first. I bet you're gonna be telling me which kind of DJ you are, but you're probably waiting for the other two, right? So anyway, let's get on there and have a chat to you before moving on to number two. So welcome people. I think I've mastered the cameras now, uh, so that's good. Um, Jeff just says, thank you for what you do. It's always good to get some encouragement when you, uh, when you do something silly like that, but it's also a good idea to watch us live because you get to see all that stuff, right? We might even edit that out of the Facebook, of the um, YouTube version. Uh, all right then, you are awesome, sir, says Vinod. Well, thank you very much for that. Um, so, um, so Rutger says, Phil can't see you. Not to be a downer, but rest in peace, Andrew Weatherall. Andy Weatherall, it was a superhero of DJing in my book. We've done a little, uh, a little kind of um, uh, piece over on Digital DJ Tips. So any Andy Weatherall fans, go and have a look at that. But I agree with you. Gone too soon and all that. Right, DJ Iggy, let's get back to mobile DJ. That is me, says DJ Iggy, a side hustle DJ. I'm a mobile DJ as a side hustle, but I am a registered nurse. Perfect. If you're a side hustle DJ, let us know. Uh, Ella just says, hi. Hello to you, Ella, over there on uh, on our YouTube channel. Um, all right then. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Are you a side hustle DJ? Is that what you call yourself? Are you making decent money on the side? Enough money to pay for your gear habit? Enough money to uh, allow you to hold your head up high and say, I'm a DJ. Look, this is my gear that I bought through my, through my DJing. I, I love this. It's my hobby, but it's also something I do for other people. Uh, but you know, you've got a day job as well. You've got something else that takes most of your time. Uh, and family and stuff, and that's all fine with you. Uh, so let me know. But meanwhile, I want to move over and talk about the second type of mobile DJ. We're talking mobile DJ today, people. It's mobile DJ week all week on Digital DJ Tips, which is why we're doing this. I'm going to share a URL with you. Uh, here it is, djtips.co slash go mobile. Uh, so you can head over there and uh, find lots and lots of stuff, amazing stuff that we're publishing all week about mobile DJing. Uh, so that's what's going on. That's why we're talking mobile this week. Um, so uh, it's hard if you only want to be a techno or house DJ and not a radio mobile style of DJ, says so DJ Son of a Beat. It certainly is. That's not what mobile is about at all. Good on you for realizing it though, DJ Son of a Beat. Uh, Christopher says, I'm a club DJ. I do mobile gigs. It's very true. It's a big way of getting a bit of extra money, of course, playing mobile gigs because they also pay uh, well, a lot better generally. Uh, I'm a side hustle DJ. I have a full-time job as a help desk manager, says Dave. So awesome, thank you for sharing that. Um, uh, all right then, Barry says, I'm at school and learning again. So good to hear that, Barry. Never too late to learn something new. I'm not a DJ. I just really love playing awesome tunes in the open air, says Seguero. Se Se well, that is a DJ uh, newsflash. Um, 
solidly in the side hustle, says Jinsu. Uh, and uh, if you want that URL, here we go. Uh, DJ, DJtips.co slash go mobile. My team have popped that up there as well. Michael is an electrician full time while also side hustling. Right. Let's talk about another type of DJ. Not quite as attractive a type of DJ, this one. Back to the, uh, back to the classroom. You're all sat there, I'm at the front. That's, what the, that's the idea of this, I hope you like it. Especially when I remember to turn the camera on. Right, the second type of DJ. We call the break even DJ. Not quite as favorable a place to be. This is actually 70% of DJs who are trying to make money from their DJ uh, using mobile. Okay, 70%, seven out of 10. One out of four are successful side hustlers, making decent money, upwards of $10,000, euros, pounds a year. This group are not quite there yet. So whereas the side hustle DJs tend to take the gigs that they like the idea of, that are gonna be fun, that are gonna to add to their joy as DJs, break even DJs are not, they'll take anything because they're struggling to get gigs, they're struggling to get people to pay them, they're struggling to pay for their DJ hobby. They want the new gear. They have got people in their household who say, you can't spend more money on DJ gear. Where's the money coming in to pay for it? It's not quite clicked yet with break-even DJs. They've got the desire. It's not a lack of desire that's causing this problem. It's something else, but they haven't quite got it together yet to make enough money, the kind of money they want to fund their music, to fund their gear, and to just basically feel legitimized as DJs. The biggest group, seven out of 10. So um, this is the kind of people who often feel threatened by other DJs. They feel threatened by well, who they tend to call things like the $50 laptop DJs are coming for our, coming for our jobs. There's, there's no money in this. Um, I can't seem to make it work. And the reason is there's too many DJs doing it. Uh, they're the kind of DJs who feel like no one recognizes their talent. Uh, and it's not a really good place to be unless you're just a hobby DJ and you think you know what this is just a hobby I'm going to fund it out of my own pocket I'm not bothered about other people um, paying me for it if that's you then you're not trying to be a mobile DJ that's great but once you make that leap and say I want to do this I want to get paid for it I want to be a mobile DJ I want to play events I want to play parties I want to play school proms I want to play the odd wedding I want to play corporate stuff but you can't get there well that's where you end up being what we call a break-even DJ. It's not a good place to be because one step down is broke, right? Uh, you're still doing it on the side, right? You've still got a job. It's not life or death. It's not like putting food in your mouth, mouth or anything like that. So if that's the second kind of DJ, the break-even DJ, the kind of biggest group of people trying to be successful side hustle DJs, which is about one in four who actually get there, what's the Third type. Well, before we move on to the third type, I want to go back to you and I want to talk about the break-even DJs, people who are just about making it. I want to know what you think if you feel that you're in that category and what you think the problems are getting out of that category. Um, and I don't, it's not, I'm not doing this to shame anyone. It's the biggest group and it's the biggest people we teach about this start off as break-even DJs. There's no shame in it at all. It's not that you haven't got the desire. It's not that you haven't got the skills. I'm sure we've all seen DJs who appear to be doing very well, who are earning great money, who are not very good, you know, musically. They're just not very good, right? We've all seen them. Might be why you got into DJing in the first place. I can do better than that, right? We've all been there thinking, I can do better than that dude. How is he or she getting paid all that money, right? So it's not that you haven't got the musical ability. It's something else that's holding you down as a break-even DJ. Let's go and talk about that for a second. So hello again, comment cam people. Uh, so if you're making off money, if you're making money off DJing and you've survived five years, you need to move on through the three types of DJ, says Mike. Mike's obviously seen this, this plan of ours before where we, we um, talk about the three types. So thank you very much for that comment. We'll get on to number three in a minute. Frankie Knuckles uh, says, uh, Mike once said you're not going to do this all your life because it wasn't a career, a profession as it is now, but you had five years to do it and have fun with it. We always thought we had five weeks to do it. We thought we were gonna get stopped for DJing back in the early 90s. We thought it was just gonna be stopping. Here we are 30 years later, eh? How much fun. Um, so this was me up to a year ago. Um, I was full-time buyer and I gigged as and when. I paid for all my equipment and my monthly subscriptions to purchase tunes, says Shirley Wright, so you know all about this. I'm a hustle DJ, says Alexander. I work as a tax advisor and I'm playing two times a month. Exactly, you're exactly a side hustle DJ there as well. Um, I'm a side mobile DJ, says Marcel. I just invested over 12,000 pounds in my equipment, so you've done very well. 
Uh, good to hear that. Uh, and some of you are our third type of DJ. That's four, not three. Uh, including Ryan, who says, I'm a full-time DJ for events, weddings, birthdays, and corporate events. We'll get onto that type of DJ in a second. Uh, all right, then. Uh, keep working hard and you will make it if you're committed. So Darren just says, keep working hard. Well, it's certainly part of the equation, Darren. Um, all right, then. You're so right about the break-even DJ, says Michael King, Mike Leon. Uh, yeah, we know we're right. It's nothing, you know, there's no massive insights from us. We're just reflecting back what we see in our surveys and what people tell us. Um, I'm having problems trying to get more gigs, says Christopher, for I can be more than just a break-even DJ. I might even, I'm actually below even. So you're below broke, uh, Christopher. And I'm not joking, you know, I'm not playing flippant. But uh, but yeah, we know exactly, uh, we know exactly that kind of DJ. I'm in the break-even category, says Danny. Uh, I, less in the fear of other DJs, um, more in trying to book gigs problem. I just can't get my name out there far enough. Um, I'm, uh, I've been a full-time DJ and now I'm getting older and I'm scared about what I'm going to do next. Help, says DJ uh, Decanus. Well, we'll try and give you something to help you here. Uh, Nigel just says, sorry I'm late. You missed the, the invisible fill at the beginning, Nigel. See, you've got to get here on time to get all the, uh, all the good stuff. Right, let's move on to number three uh, in our list of DJs. So the third type of DJ, we kind of had a spoiler then, is what we call the all or nothing DJ, the all or nothing mobile DJ. This person is the top 3%, certainly the top 5%, normally the top 3% of DJs in any town, city, in earning potential, in kind of how famous they are, in, in getting the best gigs, they're getting the top 3% of the gigs. They're all or nothing because mobile DJing is their life. They tend to specialize more in weddings because that's where a lot of the money is, but also where you can make a lot more mistakes. Weddings are the hardest type of mobile DJing. And they are the kind of DJs who, without a doubt, are doing this full time. Without a doubt, they're doing it full time. They've got reasonably big expenses and reasonably big income. They're probably employing people. They've probably got premises. They've probably got a big truck. They take their gear to different venues and in and so on. They've been doing this a while. They've built up a big network of people. They are kind of very good at uh, every part of DJing, the marketing, the sales, the delivering the products, the, the, the getting great content from their, from their gigs so that they can share that content with the world to generate more sales. They've got the whole thing cracked. Uh, they're all or nothing DJs. They're the top 5%. So we've got about 70% of DJs as side hustle, having a great time, making the money they want, playing the gigs they want, but it's, it's part time. We've got the biggest amount, 70%, so that's 95% in total, who are struggling to do this, but they want to. And then out of all the DJs who want to be mobile, the top 5%, maybe even the top 3 or 2 or 1% are these people. These people are making big money. They're making like a, a full-time income, minimum, absolute minimum, $50,000, pounds, euro the year, probably more. Uh, and a lot of them are well into six figures. Some of them are into seven figures. These are the kind of DJs, by the way, who take our Mo, our our um, complete DJ course with Jason Janai, one of our tutors, which is a course that we run. Sometimes it's not open at the moment. Uh, that teaches that kind of DJing. It's just for the the really committed. Awesome thing to do if, if that, that's you. But that's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is the third type of DJ, uh, the, the first type of DJ, the the side hustlers, and how to get from being a beginner or a struggling DJ to side hustle. That's what we're talking about today. And the reason we're talking about it is that we're running a special week over on Digital DJ Tips. So let's go back over here and I'll tell you about that week. Uh, it is here, djtips.co slash go mobile. If you head over there, you'll find lots and lots of information about how to move from break even to side hustle. There's an article a day, every day this week. We've already done article number one. Our article number two went live uh, earlier today. Three, four, and five. Three and four are written. Five is yet to come. It, they're all being based on what on the feedback on the others, right? So, um, so, but they're really good because they talk you through all these types of DJ. They talk you through the problems, and they talk you through how to get from struggling to successful side hustle. So head over there. That's why uh, we're talking about this today. If you want more information on this, but we'll talk a little bit more now about it because I want to get your feedback and I'll offer you some of the. Differences between the DJs that might mean that you're, if you think, you know, the struggle is to do with music or the struggle is to do with your gear or, you know, the number of people you know, probably isn't. So let's talk about what it is. Uh, it's uh, Nessie Nee says, I do all types of events. I bring my own equipment. It has to be easy to set up, durable and not too heavy to haul back and forth. My speakers are the heaviest. Modern DJ gear is great. Side hustle DJs know it, right? They've got 
modern gear, they've got modern lighting, they're using computers, they're using vis visuals, they're, they're carrying around awesome projectors and screens to make everything look good, but they can pack it all down really small. You just couldn't do that a generation ago. You really couldn't. Uh, I've struggled, said TJ Monty, but I keep on grinding. Good on you, TJ. Um, the DJ Unreal says, 25 years, all I've ever done. I know I have skills for other jobs, but they don't see that. Uh, well, uh, you are definitely all or nothing then, of course. Uh, Keith is just loving it by the look of this set of emojis. So thank you, Keith. Um, all right, then. Um, I've um, Let's have a look. Uh, Philly Blunt says, I'm a hustle DJ. I've got DJ gigs in the weekend. Yep, that is, uh, that is a big, big type of DJ. DJ Cool Thing says, I take all gigs that come my way. DJing is my only job. I DJ school dances, church gigs, family parties, and weddings here and there. So good to hear it. You're definitely an all or nothing DJ in the respect that this is all you do, right? Um, okay, then. So we're talking about this basically because these three types of DJ, side hustle, successful DJ doing it on the side, break even, uh, just one step above broke, <laughs> trying very hard, but not quite there yet. And all or nothing are the three types of DJ. And we want to help you move from break even, uh, which is most, most people who are trying to do this for, for money, from there to side hustle. And the reason we're talking about it now is that over on Digital DJ Tips, we have put a whole load of articles this week helping you to do just that, to move from break even or beginner to, to successful side hustle. So I'd like you to go there. I'd like you to use that link, djtips.co slash go mobile, get yourself over there and have a look at the articles this week. That's all I'm asking you to do if you're interested in this because there's a lot of value there for you. And it's currently hot. It's hot. We've only done two of them. There's three more to come. So uh, that's it for this week. Get over there if you're interested in learning how to make that switch uh, and to be very, very successful. A couple more comments before we go. Floyd says, I've been a wedding DJ for many years. The most interesting one was when B&G wanted uh, their wedding on screen when they got married on a boat, while 300 plus people waiting ashore under a tent, uh, while the people watched on the screens. You could hear a pin drop when the vows were being said. Wow. Getting married on a boat with people watching on the land. A standing ovation when the couple came to shore. Stepping away from weddings, we started a radio station and we're doing very well. I still do symposiums, meetings, public events. It's much easier and just as much fun and same money. Floyd, what a great story. Thank you so much for sharing with that with us. Danny says, can't wait to read those articles. You guys always have the best advice. Well, two of them are already there, so that's awesome. awesome. Michael, well done to you. Radio DJ, mobile DJ, full-time dad, and legally blind. Uh, so top marks from us to you there, Michael. Um, a few of you just saying, Phil, beard, where have you been? Had it for two months now, um, but thank you very much. Uh, it's always good to get uh, your feedback on everything, even if it's only my beard. Um, so um, so uh, DJ Dash TV is telling uh, It's Nessie that uh, he is the same. Uh, I like to be as efficient and portable as possible. I set up in 20 minutes, in and out, baby. Uh, awesome, right, um, so... Um, DJ Mog is moving from side hustle to full time and loving it. So good to hear that. Right, we're done for this week, people. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, sorry that I was uh, off screen and only on voice at the very beginning, but I hope you enjoyed looking at the blank camera with the Pioneer gear behind it. Uh, meanwhile, get good, get out there, make the moments, and do head over and have a look at the articles we're publishing all week on how to become a successful part-time mobile DJ. Till then, uh, have fun and goodbye.